All right, my lovers, welcome to another episode with the Hovercraft History Hunters. All right, my lovers, here we are, Hovercraft History Hunters, and guest today is Nicola Wyatt. Hello everyone, very excited. Hopefully I'll come back in one piece. You will, you will. We look after you today. It's been a long overdue trip because Nick's been dying to come out of this for ages, so today is her lucky day, hopefully. Uh, got Steve piloting our hovercraft and in the background... He's struggling with his zip. <laughs> yeah, good start. Uh, in the background there we've got Ben from the British Hovercraft Company, his dad Kev and Rob as well. So we've got a good crew today, so let's go out and get some luck in the mud. Yeah, let's go out and get some luck in the mud. This is going to be a really new experience for me. I'm looking forward to flying through the... Uh, across the mud. Exactly. Yeah. It's a lucky experience you've never had in your life, I guarantee. I love the way you got the camper yeah. van and kept the boat. And there's uh, there's quiet Ben in the background. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Roman. That's a nice piece. So Nick's found a little beach. Might be some Victorian bits and bobs in there. Let's go and check it out. More erosion. an old cup. Oh, very fetching. Very retro. We find a cup every week. I know, we do, don't we? It's a lovely little piece of pottery with a house on it, look. See that? They're cute. Oh, that's cute. What's that like? Jug. Look, there's a little head of a person there. I think they've got someone oh, toting a gun or something. It's like a whip to me. <laughs> a whip or a gun. Oh, he's whipping his um, ponies. Cool, nice one. Which way? That way! Look at that. <laughs> It'd be nice to find a nice big huge one, wouldn't it, one day? Yeah, that's where'd you, well. where'd you put it? Where would I put it? Yeah. I'll find somewhere to put it. <laughs> what do you think that is? Don't say glass. It's glass. 
Oh, there's not a bit of Roman. It's all it's over the place. All mixed up here. Yeah, it's mixed up. We've got Victorian Roman. It's all up. It's not dredging. Oh, look what eagle eyed Simon has spotted. It's not hard to find there, it's just, uh, it was sticking like that there, no one would have missed out, would they? Well, uh, I just walked straight past it, <laughs> I hate to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to flash it. Oh, look, isn't that lovely? That's beautiful. Look, hollow. Yeah. So, we're lucky to have found it, really, but... That's lovely. That is what you call a beautiful piece of Roman. That's pottery. gorgeous. And you can even cook them up and eat them as well. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, Winkle? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to de shell it first, they're a bit crunchy otherwise. That's a nice chunk. That's a super find. And that's probably first first century. First yeah. century burnish where we find a lot of that stuff out here. Mm, that's um, nice. Oh, Steve's got a bottle. You got a good one there, Steve. Oh, oh that's nice. Budden and Biggs. Briggs. Biggs or Briggs? Is Strood. It? Yeah. Strood. That's a lovely one. Definitely worth, worth keeping that. You see, I've just seen something over there actually. I don't know if you've uh, checked that out already. I'm going to wade my way over there. I think it's a ginger beer. I'm getting sinking though. Will I make it? How comes you're floating and I'm sinking? There's a little bit here, but not quite as nice as, as Simon's, which I can't believe that I walked right past. I don't know, but I found a pot. Oh, well done. Get in! <laughs> oh, I'm on fire! Oh, I knew it would be a good spot. You didn't believe me. can't believe what I'm looking at. Another Roman pot. This is the moment we mudlarks dream of. Lifting a Roman pot out of the mud and being the first person to touch it in nearly 2,000 years. Being a mud lover, and you can see now why I love it so much, because it protects these delicate objects so well. I want to get my fingers in, in and around and underneath, and gently prise it out. And I'm hoping it's complete and intact. It's at this point I can feel a lip's neck and underneath it feels whole. This is so amazing. So now it's free, I can lift it up. What a feeling. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's amazing! That, that's my best ever bundle of <laughs> And Nick, I'm so glad you're here to learn. Oh, look at that, that's absolutely stunning. Can you believe it? No. Can you actually believe that's it? That's amazing, well done. That is absolutely incredible. It is. I'm shaking. You are shaking. Alright boys, you want to see a Roman pot? Oh wow! Oh, edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's got a hole in the bottom, so mud's falling out of it. So. Wow. Oh nice. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that's epic, man. Get right. You know what I mean? 
I haven't had a chance to clean it, mate. I, li I literally got it out of the mud. How did you spot that? How old is that? First century. Or it's maybe beautiful. more. Or maybe more. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you just uncovered a nice little bit of decoration here for yeah, you, Steve. Thanks. Decorated. Where's that? Is it? Yeah. Just bit that moss up. That mossy stuff here. Yeah, that's what we use. We just use all natural ingredients when yeah, we're cleaning the... Yeah, we're all about natural. Yeah, so we do it. Bob uh, Craft issue hunters, come at you. Oh no, take these pots. Yeah, yeah, I did. We're going to go and have a little look at Simon's pots. Just look at these, aren't they? Spectacular. Oh, <laughs> he's made one there. <laughs> I like that. A homemade pot. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, Steve's made a little pot and he's put it there and he's nicked Simon Simonica's mother of rice. This pot. This will be fun. Okay, so Simon's real Roman pot has been replaced with a mud one. Let's see what happens. Now I've got one there, he's got a man band on. I do have a t shirt in here actually, I'll put it in. You think he's joking, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the cabbage searches is good. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know who I was going to say, he's got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nicola White driving a hovercraft. some stuff actually. Oh, Nicola White is stuck. Good job you got a knight in shining armour there to help you. Careful you don't slip on that board, love. Oh, you're up. Oh, oh that's it. was it worth it for that bit of pottery? Well, so, nice, mind getting dirty, this thing.
She's an added bonus when you come out here. <laughs> Optional extra. <laughs> well, this could be a little bit of Samian wear, perhaps. That'd be quite cool if it is. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it is, you know. I have to get uh, Steve to double check, but that's really cool. That's decorated. be verified but I'm about 90% sure it is that's pretty cool nice one nice little ridges there decoration it's quite crude and it's got that samian glossy feel about it happy with that and I've just found a little chemist and I can see there's writing on it that is a personalized chemist bottle now do you remember we find two teaspoons tablespoons well this one is the same but it's actually got the name of a chemist on it. That's really cool. Phillips Cromwell Road, South West London. Oh, that is awesome. I'm really happy with that. Excellent. Mm. One day that'll end up in my mouth. So subscribe and you'll catch it here first. Well, Kev's had a little find in the cave. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? No. Okay, well, it's just a, a chemist bottle, maybe, or definitely something that's which measurement. yeah see, so that's probably a tablespoon or two yeah. and you can just keep an eye on how many your dosages so you, that would have kept been filled up with a chemist with whatever formula and um, yeah taken and you, you can keep an eye on a level so yeah. I think we found something like this earlier actually a square one with the lines on it so that's uh, a nice little pair tablespoon. yeah this one exactly the same yeah but obviously this one's got a maker's mark on it but yeah it's quite it's got to be tablespoons or two tablespoons, whatever it is. So, uh, good bottles. There you go, stay present. Tell us all about that. It was known as a Kent pectile. Yes. As opposed to a Suffolk pectile because <laughs> it's smaller. Okay. And what age are we talking? Look at these. Girl, we go back to, well, Hampton Court's got one there, so we'll say it's six, seven hundred years. Yeah. Yeah, so. So, you don't, it's hard to tell, really, that, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say it's an older one because. Crude. Very crude. It's got a bow to it. Yeah, the older buildings we do, you tend to get the, the older they are, the cruder they tend to be. So yeah, that's, that is particularly crude. I've got something else to show you as well. Not that I've done that, but you can have a look at that. That's nice. Oh, it is. Well, this is quite interesting. And I want you to confirm or deny. From Will Rose. Don't you know? Oh. Is it of the fuck? Uh, uh. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Isn't it? That's yeah. what I think. It is. So we, never, we never find any whole same in there. I think that should be. Yeah, it's got a little Jesus. Do you want to drop it anymore? Jesus. Look, you can see the maker's mark. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I thought that was going to be on the underside. No, 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 it's the maker's mark. They oh, stamp it sweet. in the bowl. Well spotted, mate. Well spotted. I didn't even see that. Yeah, there it's you go then. You might be able to trace that just from that bit. Which would be pretty cool. F, looks like. Or a little pie. Pie symbol. This is so mad here, right? Everything's mixed up together. Mm. Like Roman, like medieval, and it's got to be dredgings. Oh, yeah, do it. Oh, yeah. Did you say you had a booster pack? Yeah, it'll start. It just. Yeah, we can go a whole day without there being a little bit of drama. Uh, Why didn't it bad? Uh... Like fully past compression. There we go. No dramas, we're all right. <laughs> So Ben, you had a bit of trouble out there, not too bad, but you got it started again, what was up? Battery isolator worked itself loose, schoolboy yeah. error. <laughs> Something I would expect from Stevie Johnson rather than myself, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Even experts make mistakes. That's it, well we've got back all right. I mean, not me of course, you know, but experts <laughs> make mistakes. Yeah. So Nick's, Nick's obviously been out with us today, I haven't caught up with it too much until now. But what you found, you found a few good bits, you said, a bit of saminware for us. 
yeah, I have got a nice piece of a little piece of samian, oh, not sorry. quite as good as your pot, but well, uh, I, I love samian, and I, I don't mm. think I've ever found a piece that's decorated, so um, it's uh, it's new to me, so I love it all. Um, it's really cool. So that's a nice little ink well. Little ink well, it's eroding out of the hedge, and a bottle stopper. I've got a lovely brick. Shall that's, I go? That's, and... that's probably the top of a pickle jar. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. I've got a lovely brick, yeah. which I can show you. Okay. I did get um. Actually, I've got a few little bits of pipe stem. Oh, nice little uh, pipe bowl. One. I've got oh. quite a nice little bit of pipe bowl actually, which is um, also in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Look, the end of a, a pipe bowl. Which oh, yeah. I'm not quite sure what that is on Let's the end of it. It's almost bird-like, doesn't it's like it? Like a bird, isn't it? It looks like a hand. Um... Hmm. I've got a nice little piece of Bartman beard as well. Oh yeah. There. Excellent. I've got lots of bits, and I got a nice bit of pipe stem with a maker's mark on. You can't go out of that finding the <laughs> pipes or uh, pipe related I've things. I've got some nice bits of pottery, but I'll be cleaning it all up. So okay. when I do my video, you'll be able to see it. But look, I just mm. want to show you my brick. So, yeah, lovely, lovely brick. Yeah, I've got a really nice brick here, and uh, it'll look much better when it's cleaned up, but mm -hmm. it's quite unusual because it's almost as if it's um, been in a bathroom. Perhaps, yeah, I think so. It's got really nice defined mark here cliff and sons from Leeds really cool. on both sides so nice i'm not usually a brick girl but i am today <laughs> there we go well uh, we got a lot of luck in the muck simon got loads and loads of luck in the muck and uh, i got lots of luck in the muck too and i'm also covered in muck now <laughs> but i'm really looking forward to doing this video because it's such a lot of fun and thank you very much for inviting me oh my pleasure all right my lovers here we are back at hovercraft hq and Steve's hair is getting longer by the month. It is getting longer. I'll, actually, you might do a little poll here. Go on. Do I cut it or don't I cut it? Leave it, it's cheaper. I'm thinking <laughs> that. It's really easy in the morning now. Just yeah. get up and put this silly hairband thing on. Well, there we go. You look like a footballer, don't you think? Anyway, back at Hovercraft HQ and we are cleaning up our wonderful finds for today. Let's take a closer look. Would you want me to uh, give the guide? Yeah, it's all right, Steve. You can, uh, you can fire away. What we've got here today, then? some bottle with the, uh, obviously, the... Mm. The measuring marks on it. Oh, it's got a bit of a crack in it. Oh no. Another? Maybe some bottle. When I mean, you get a complete. <laughs> trouble with round bottles, they all seem to slide out, slide around, didn't they? Alright, this one is from Phillips, Cromwell yep. Road, which is London, that's SW, South West London, so Wimbledon way. Mm. Yeah, well maybe we can find out if that uh Yeah, do a little bit of research. Building's still there and stuff like that. It has a nice aqua colour. Nice it little... is a nice aqua with some air bubbles in it. Yeah. Beautiful. So I did some research on this bottle and the name Phillips and I discovered there was a family of chemists living in number 156 Cromwell Road in Kensington, South West London. The 1911 census tells me that the head of the family was Alfred and married to his wife Rosalie and they employed three assistants that lived in this very building. There was Walter, William and Arnold and a housekeeper called Elizabeth. So quite a well-to-do family to have so many employed and even a housekeeper. I can't find any images of the shop, but I imagine it would have looked something like this. We have, which is mine and Simon's favourite bottle, we've now decided. Actually, I think this one's my favourite now. Oh, is it? I don't oh. know, I can't make my mind up. Oh, because it's half iridescent. Can you see, I don't yeah. know, can you see the colour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, give it a little rotate, Steve. That's, that's beautiful. Well, right? no, I didn't want to show them that oh, side, because wow, the other side's... Yeah. Um, a bit, uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, which hey, side? That side. Which side um, that side's been in the mud, isn't it? Yeah, that side's. I don't know what side. Nothing. That side's been in the mud, and it was. Yeah, it was like that. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, over the years, with I don't know, salt, salt water, sun, etc. Yeah. Yeah, it creates that iridescence on it, which I think is quite. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, I use the word beautiful. Spudden. Budden, and Biggs. Is that limited M L D? Yeah. Strood, which is in Kent. Yes, which is just down the road as it happens. Near That's Rochester. Lovely. That is lovely. I'm going to get a close up of that because those colours are gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, wow. And that's what makes the bottle so interesting. Sometimes they have this beautiful iridescence which you cannot replicate and you know where they've been yeah, in that Thames mud. Okay, what else you got? Um, we've got another. What's his name? Bernard. It yeah. might be Edinburgh, maybe. Yeah, it might be Edinburgh, yeah, that's an abbreviation or something. Yeah, Bernard's little beer bottle. 
not a lot of age to it. Is that like, yeah. yeah, 20s, 30s. Yeah, 20s, 30s. This one, which I quite like, and it's nothing special, but it is a three-part mould, mm -hmm. as you can see, the mould lines there, and then they would have applied the lip, but it's a half size. Hmm. So it's probably a sailor's bottle, they call it a half measure. Okay. So it's got a half measure of rum or brandy or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so that's quite nice. You don't find many of those. Can you make his mark on the bottom at all? Sometimes there's a little pint or something. No, just no. Little, no, never mind. No, sometimes they have half measure on them. Hmm. I did have one of those. That one? You done that no, one. we didn't do that one. I missed the other. Oh, this is Phillips again. Ah. Oh, he's. Hmm. He's popular. Is it? Is that you don't know Rochester? Well, look, it's the same person. No, he's Rochester. Oh, D P N P Rochester. <laughs> Dove, Phillips, and Pet. Oh, D, P, and P. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Rochester. We've got some older stuff to show you as well. As always. You like that bit, don't you? I like this. I, I mean, <laughs> it, look, it's the smallest bit of Samian ware, but it's got the maker's mark on it. And I didn't even spot that first. Yeah, so which see, it's on to see that. Is, it looks like T-I, but because that's the first part, or maybe the last part, we should be able to research this and find out exactly where it was made mm. and a date for it as well. So that's quite interesting. So we can, so yeah, date that, give that a definite date. So that's a, be nice. you think that's a dish or plate, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's a Roman Samian ware, yeah, it's like serving dish, mm. etc. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So I looked up this maker's name with the British Museum and found a very close match. It's a Samian ware bowl and was made by a person called Tychurinus and the full mark would have looked something like this. It's amazing that we can name the individual who made this bowl during the year 170 to 200 AD. It was probably made in Gaul, which is in Eastern Europe, and then imported. This and the other Roman pieces will be recorded with the museum. Um, just your normal <laughs> shards. Your, your normal shards. <laughs> that one's actually got a, you see there, a bit of a... <laughs> little uh, sea creature <laughs> sea still. Creature. Yep, a few other bits. Smaller shard. All about the base. All about the base, the base, the base. And the bigger base. And the bigger base, yes. If you like base, we've got, we've got <laughs> base. We've got all the base you want. That's, that's quite nice. Oh, and we did find something else. Um, what say we found something? Simon found something. Right. No one likes it when I hold these. <laughs> First century. Burnish wear. Black burnish wear. Yep, was it cooling? Pot. Cooling ware, yeah, we think we've researched this already and we've found that it's possibly a flask. So it may have held wine. Uh, you know, like you'd go out and buy a bottle of wine today, you go to the store and you buy yourself a nice bottle of. Yeah, uh, go and get yourself a little bottle of plonk. Exactly. Or a plonk of plonk. Yeah, that's quite nice. There's definitely two glasses in there, I'd say. But um, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. And. Uh, it is, it's, it's very nice. Steve, one day your day Not will come. It's all jealous. Okay. The trouble is, Steve was drawing around, drawing around the corner. Drawing, which drawing. is English for talking. Yeah. I was, well, I was, I was having like, a cup of coffee. Oh, was that what you were doing? Yeah, I was having a coffee break. He was having a chat, and the trouble is, too much chat, not enough mudlarking. And uh, I went off and found that, which um, I'm absolutely amazed and over, over the moon about. Um, but it's got a little hole at the bottom, so I think this has been yeah, uh, thrown. Reject. And then they got really thin on the bottom by mistake. Romans do tend to sometimes make mistakes. And... Uh, there's a little line there as well, we saw. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it is, yeah so it's that middle bit. This. Yeah, and there's a little bit of decoration as well. Yeah, if you can see it, I'll try and yeah, turn it around slowly. Work. It does actually work. You can see it's been uh, a little bit of decoration around the, the top there. And then it's there. got lines. There is an official name for it, but um, I'm not sure what it's called. But Yeah, amazing little piece of history. That will be recorded with the museum to add for their database. And uh, be taking... Might, might uh, throw that other pot away now and put that in place. Yeah, that, yeah, no, I'll, I'll grab it. Just, uh, I'll just uh, chuck it out. So, uh, yeah, what a great day for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there we go, mud lovers. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you on the next adventure with the Hovercraft History Hunters. See you later. Peace out. Hi. Well, Simon's told me that. A few of you want to know what's going on with my beetle. So, here we go. It's Kaz, new front quarters, new front clip, new bulkhead. So, that's two new front quarters. Um, the heat channels, both sides, 
um, two new rear quarters, which are new old stock, which is why they look so bad. Um, come round to the back. Uh, these made by a company called uh, Hockey Panels in England. They make the hard to get parts, so I'd like to have both of these made by him. Um, as you can see, it's like a see-through car at the moment, if we can get there. To be fair, it's been a lot, a lot of work. Far more than I anticipated. Right. Also, right. to clear it out here, the only panels that I haven't changed are the dashboard and the roof. So what I'll do is, I'll get Simon to insert some pictures sort of here, 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 is that how you do it on YouTube? Here, here and there, of, as it was coming apart. Unfortunately, we've not been able to catch up with Simon because of lockdown, lockdown, and then further lockdown. But yeah, it, which has given me a chance to get on with this. So hopefully, by the summer, this will be on the road. Right. The chassis is currently being powder coated, so sandblasted and powder coated, so that'll come back like a brand new chassis. Um, if you look down there, I've had that. This is my Slamworks four inch narrowed beam. New old stock tailgate. Um, Paid through a nose for an original bonnet, which really, really isn't nice. Um, we've got doors there, they're fine. Um, got these going on there, Porsche pattern disc brakes. Um, box of stuff, more stuff. But anyway, gonna wrap this up because um, Simon said I've only got two minutes and I've probably rattled on for longer than two minutes. But um, yeah. This is the bug, which will be on the road. Obviously I'm gonna fit a tow bar to it so I can tow the hovercraft. And then yeah, hopefully me and Simon can get out of the hovercraft so we can make some more videos. See you later guys. All right, peace out.